Hey everybody, uh, I'm going to do a video a little bit different than what I normally do. I'm not going to be building anything. I'm actually going to be showing you uh, products that I have re recently purchased and put into use and really liked them. I thought I might share them. A lot of them I haven't seen on videos before and some of them I have. If you stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to show you a couple of tips that I found over the years to make life a little bit easier and uh, basically to tell you why thing something works the way it does so stick around to the end and also if you uh, like the content go ahead and make comments as to you know what you think of it or you know something that you want me to make a video on in the future enjoy the video but the first one's going to be the fit finder it it is a a uh, center marker for like thickness. If you have three quarters of an inch and you want to go halfway in, uh, you set this jig and it will actually show you exactly where the height is for halfway mark. So you could set up your router table or your uh, dado stack or just a uh, saw blade for half of the depth of whatever piece of wood you're working for and it, it will adjust up to three inches thick so it will show you three inch thick product you place it on top of it and it'll show you exactly half of it i'm going to go ahead and show you how it works okay uh this is what the product looks like it's got a magnetic base for your router table if you have a uh, metal router table or your table saw it fits really tight and it's got screws on the back you just loosen those and as you raise this up this halfway point comes up and like i said it goes up to a half inch thick and then you just take and lock it in place with the screws all right for this build i am going to be using 5 8 plywood put your 5 8 plywood in there run this down to where it's flush hold it tight and turn it into place lock the wing nuts on it and this is going to be my halfway point. So what I do, lower my blade. I'm going to be making a lap joint with my table saw so uh, I don't have to set up anything. Just run it to where it just touches. Then you want to mark your half lap joint. Square these up and mark it. Then do the same thing with the other side. I use a combination square. Set it up to where that hits and then mark my spot you can see the mark there and you do the same thing to the other one get your miter gauge out run your piece all the way up to the wood you already have the depth cut then you turn your saw Okay, now you check your pieces. All right, here's the joint put together. That's all flush. Everything seems to be flush on it. The next thing I'd like to show you is a miter aid. It's uh, for measuring miters. What you do is put your wood in here. Already, you have to have one end already mitered. But then you, once you set it in here, you put it in this little groove, your tape measure in this little groove and measure to the other end and it will measure exact measurements every time. Just make sure everything's uh, the way it should be. Tied up against everything. It locks in place with this. Then you take your tape measure, set it in there. I want this picture frame to be seven by 12. So I'm gonna mark my 12, and then I'll take a combination square. Put it at my mark, mark it. Now your next one, I just go ahead, since they're the same size, line it up, 
That's my 12 inch pieces. Now I want to do my seven inch pieces. Now do the same thing you did before. Take your other part of the frame, line them up. Push the blade down, push up the blade. And now we'll take them back over to the uh, table. All right, now we'll uh, put the picture frame together. As you can see, the miters are tight. This is sitting here, just sitting here. It's without glue or any clamps or anything on it. So they're looking pretty good. All right, the next item I'd like to show you is from Milwaukee. It's called an impact right angle adapter. It hooks to your drill. Uh, it'll hook to a regular drill or an impact drill. It comes with a screw bit. The screw bit is a little bit short, but if you're looking to get into a really tight area, this would work fine. Uh, what you do is just hook it to your drill and this spins around. If you're in a really tight area, you put an adapter on it and put pressure on this when you hit the screw and then just turn it. And that screw will unscrew or screw anything in. I used it here a while back for a uh, cabinet and I put a bit on it to screw down and for drawer slides in a cabinet that was only 10 inches tall. Your drill will not fit in there with a drill bit. So I used that to pre-drill. Then I put it on a screw bit. I like the little bit longer ones. And then I pushed it in and got where I wanted to be and pushed down and screwed it in. I will uh, show you the video on that right now. The Milwaukee is really good at getting into tight areas. This is a cabinet that's only 10 inches high, 22 inches deep. I'm going to use it here to drill my holes. All right, I changed from a drill to a Phillips screw bit, and it's got a magnetic tip on it. And that's how that works. This next item that I have is for when you're out in the field cutting lumber or just don't have a uh, chop saw or table saw with you. It's called the Lumber Lock Plate Vise. It will hold from a 2x2 two two all the way up to a 2x12 piece of lumber. And it'll also hold 1x4 and 1x6. I'm going to demonstrate how it works on a 2x6. You slide it in here. Slide it to where you angle it, and then take your circular saw. I like to put my foot here, and... It's very stable to work with, especially when you put your foot on it. It will not move and you could move the lumber to cut more pieces off or whatever you need to do. I'm sure many of you have a tape measure that you wear on your belt. I just find it very inconvenient to you know, put it on your belt. It doesn't always go on easy. You have to use two hands and then it goes on. Then you have to wiggle it to get it off. I found a solution to that and it's the Ma Magno Grip. It's a pouch for your tape measure. You have to take the clip off for it to slide in and out easy, but it just hooks onto your belt one time and then you can take your tape out, put it in. Take your tape out, put it in. The other good part is it has a magnet here. It comes with a pencil. You know, the pencil magnetically attaches to it. So you, you always have your pencil with you. I found it to be very convenient. At the beginning of this video, I told you I'd show you a couple of things that I found over the years that uh, I thought most people may not know. A lot of people probably do know, I'm sure, uh, especially if you read directions. But if you don't, like I rarely ever read directions, I uh, 
found these tips out over the years. Your combination square, you always had this little piece at the end. Either it screws in or just pushes in. This is actually a scribe so that you can scribe a line when you use your square. You just run it along the edge and it scribes either metal or wood. You know, it's very handy. I, I didn't know that for years. I just, I had no clue what it was for. The other thing is, on a washer, uh, you have a smooth side and a rough side. I just thought it was because of the way they poured them, but it is actually made that way for a reason. What it does is uh, the sharp side, as you tighten it in, grip even metal, it cuts into the metal to hold it in place. And it does the same thing with wood, it cuts into the wood. So those are a couple of uh, interesting things that I found out over the years. And anyway, if you like these videos, please like and subscribe. And if you feel like it, make a comment and also hit the bell for future notifications as to when I bring out a video. Thanks for watching.